Okay guys, welcome back and hello once again. MSA here and we are going to build a fully automated V's farm system. Which is kind of cool I think. Uh, the concept wasn't 100% my idea because I did see it in a video. But I can't remember who created it. Although I have added some additions to it to make it my own and fully automated. So, uh, what it involves is having uh, one of the crucibles and what this crucible does is when it gets to 90% full it sends a redstone signal which I have attached to a clock which hits the piston which uh, forces the piston to stop moving although say if it needed to get rid of the V's to say power conduit for a node what will happen is it will suck up power Although the uh, snowman will produce a snow block every time the piston retracts, and when the piston pushes out again, it will obviously uh, regain its things. And obviously, it's going to take a minute or two just for it to refill, so I'm just going to turn it off automatically or manually just so that piston noise doesn't affect it mu that much. But as you can see, it pretty, pretty much jams the system. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, and this kind of makes it fully automated. But as I said, the piston itself makes quite a lot of noise. So what I would suggest is to do something like this, where you have it just it's the exact same setup, just a bit further back, so you can you don't hear the piston noise. And it has the exact same principle, as in it gets filled up, it goes below 90, and it starts producing. So well, uh, you can just about still hear the piston in this one. In order to completely not hear a piston block, it needs to go 90 or not 90, 16 blocks away. In my LP world, I do have it at 16 blocks away, so I can. And also, it is quite slow as you've seen. So in order to fully or to make it a bit faster, I would attach some more sort of people or uh, some more. Yeah, you know, it's like well, snow golems. To it by just adding them in branches to the side, and as you can see, it just filled up there and got a uh, signal got sent and pretty much froze this. As I said, you can simplify it down to roughly about that. You could probably simplify that down sir, or uh, slower or even more, um, but I'm not that good at simplifying redstone, so this is the small as I could get it. But I'm sure someone found a way to get simplify it more. So uh, I'm going to show you how you build this from scratch and in enjoy. Okay, so let's build this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make the this type of farm here. Just because this one is compact but it's quite self-explanatory and also you can hear the piston and I think everyone doesn't really want to hear the piston so I think this is probably the best one to make. And what you simply need to do is make a stream going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then lift that up one and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then um, the reason why I chose 7 for that one will become clear in a second. Let me just fill in the boundaries here. Good. So all you need now is to put one bucket of water here and it should flow all the way down to there and that is why you only use one so it's just use one large water bucket and it is as simple as that for the stream now all you need to do is make the casing for the snowman itself so what you need to do for that is build one up there or two up sorry two up there there and put place the block there. What you want to do is go in here and get piston. It can be sticky if you want but it's not necessary so regular is fine. And then just build yourself a small little casing around it just enough so that you can make a clock. And then place that there and add your snowman 
and there as you can see he is ready if the piston pushes a snow block it will go straight to there which it's probably best to just cover up just so the snow blocks don't fall the next thing you want to do is build the clock so if you don't know how to build a clock they're very simple to build you just have a redstone torch on one of these and you have to set it to a minimum of three ticks that is the fastest that you can go with this type of clock so I would advise it and then what you're going to want to do is in my case I'm going to have to do that and that starts pushing it so I'm just going to oops, uh, jam the clock just for now just so it doesn't get in our way and as you can see there the f um, snow blocks overspilt so it, to, in order to block that just simply do that and it fixes that problem so you don't lose any of your snow blocks on the way down and uh, the next thing that you want to do is to make it fully automated so how you do that is you add a separate stream of redstone going down here it doesn't have to be as far apart as I'm making it because I'm obviously having a block in between that but it's not necessary and we want to go up at one stage and put it there and you'll obviously need some repeaters I'm just going to put some repeaters there and there just for the sake of the tutorial being quite easy and move it all the way over to there and as you can see you can you can't even hear the piston at all from this distance if you go to here um, you may not be able to hear it due to YouTube sound quality but I definitely can so uh, that will take a while to fill up a whole container because these only do uh, five or no they, they I think they do one V's per snow block so just to f uh, quicken up the process a bit I am going to get a diamond block and just sort of place it in just so it pretty much fills it completely ah there we go so it caused a redstone current single to go over here and jam the clock um, obviously you can make this go a bit faster by adding multiple snowmen I have in my world got three snowmen working at it because I've got quite a lot of thorn stuff to come and the quite nice thing is it keeps on filling it all the way down to here so that uh, it is at about a hundred percent if we look it stops at it sends the red uh, redstone current at 90 percent and it goes to 93 percent so this will always be at maximum 93 percent full or at minimum sorry 93 percent full um, well actually it's a minimum of 90 percent full I guess but by the time you get down here it should be about the same as me and uh, it's, it's quite nice I think because you know you never run out of foam and obviously you can have a couple of these set all around your base it wasn't that resource heavy uh, the, probably the thing that you're probably going to lose the most is about a stack of stone or wood or whatever you're going to build it out of I would advise building you building out of cobblestone just because uh, you normally would cover up all this stuff so you can't see it possibly have a bit of glass in front of here so that you can sort of have a look at what's happening and maybe a, a door to maintenance all this stuff but apart from that that is really it I hope you like this tutorial if you do please say in the comments if you want to see more of them uh, rate comment and subscribe also if you do enjoy sort of this sort of thumb craft concept uh, please do watch my thumb craft the series and it is quite good and I would highly advise you to watch it and rate, comment and subscribe.